The face of the devil appears in the flames down under. This made the news everywhere today. Spooky, to say the least. And we're going to be getting into the faces in the flames down under. Upside down. In the netherworlds. In the underworld. Can you see the faces in the flames, ladies and gentlemen? Have you ever seen anything spooky out there? There's no telling what these faces are, but they're not a smiley face. It's not just a little circle with two dots for eyes, a little line for a mouth. We're seeing teeth, mustaches, sunglasses. We're seeing some well-defined faces here. Nothing simplistic at all. Very spooky. Indeed. Can you see the face there? The sunglasses trying to block out the light. Photophobic. You got the goatee. Real shady dude indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, what about this one? What's this creature's story? They look, they look almost human. Seems like these are the faces from hell. Ladies and gentlemen. You heard of the seven deadly sins, greedy, envy, selfish, all of that. Beware of the seven deadly sins out there. Beware of damnation. And that's really at the core of what Christians are out there to do, to save souls, save as many people as we can. We're fighting an enemy from another world. We're fighting against darkness in its truest form. It's like a virus, body snatching people, infecting people. You never know what's blowing in the wind. You can't even see the wind unless there's something blowing in it. And it's looking like the end of the world out there, down under. It looks like we've crossed a threshold and soon we'll be getting refugees from over there because that part of the world is becoming unlivable. We're seeing more and more regions like this, unlivable. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned though. We've got tons of spooky faces to cover. Tons of interesting topics to cover, to say the least. What are these faces? Where are they from? Have you ever seen this? before have you ever seen anything similar to this before ladies and gentlemen the video guy is on vacation there we go more faces from the dark side and we see this face over and over again it's as if it belongs to somebody what is this face and where else have we seen it? That's an interesting question. We're just going to run through this video, this compilation of faces during this moment of terror, of mass murder. And if you, you know, were ever going to see something metaphysical, it would definitely be during, you know, a massive, you know, blood sacrifice like this one and it's got the fingerprints of the devil all over it what is the devil what is this race from another world that we're fighting against know thy enemy ladies and gentlemen we should all be seeing posters with this face on it most wanted these creatures are everywhere and you never know what's blowing in the wind. But sometimes you get a glimpse of these faces from another dimension. During this particular, in this particular video that you're looking at here, which was taken, this was the security footage of the Burgess bombing. It killed quite a few people. And this was taken just a few minutes before the actual event at the, the bus station. And we actually got a a glimpse of this face 
in the background it matches the face that we see here you can look at the the news archives for yourself to see that that footage is authentic we saw some kind of like red something red you know kind of reflecting off the uh the vinyl finish of the flooring or whatnot and we zoomed in and we saw this diabolical looking creature that plus 9 11 starts to fit a pattern these creatures are out there they're walking amongst with us and they're infecting people out there like the flu and you know this virus that you know basically invades the soul grows and divides and it spreads through words and actions ideas and this is the devolution. This is the ultimate destination for those that get infected. Very scary prospect indeed. Hold your children tight out there. Don't let them stray away from the Bible, for they may end up like this or worse. And, you know, these kind of things tend to be a reflection of you know what's going on in the environment and the more hostile and wicked things become the more it looks like Sodom and Gomorrah out there the more it gets polluted the more it looks hell on, like hell on earth the more we're going to see you know bizarre and hellish things out there and you might ask yourself, you know, how did we go from the happy days, from Leave it to Beaver, from the Brady Bunch to this? And the answer, quite frankly, is the television. You know, the, the New World Order, this massive influence scheme, the propaganda, the indoctrination to push people, you know, towards the dark side. And this virus consumes people, you know, like a fire, and it leaves nothing but darkness behind. And, you know, the first symptoms, believe this or not, of the infection are, are you know, quite similar in nature. People become very aggressive, hostile. They're always centered around dark-sided emotions like anger and sadness. They become, uh, you know, sensitive to light, physical light. They can't stand physical light. They'll wear sunglasses on a cloudy day. They'll wear sunglasses at night. You never know what's blowing in the wind, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the video guy. But uh, other symptoms uh, of uh, demonic uh, possession include the... Uh, disproportional use of the number six in casual conversations they always got to focus on you know the the number six and they'll use it over and over and over again many other symptoms uh you know do exist but people should be focusing on this infection how it spreads what uh what makes it grow it's kind of like black mold. People should be aware of the environment that's necessary for this black mold to grow. And it's darkness. It's evil. And of course, darkness is the absence of life. Now, this army of darkness that we're up against is mostly in a form that's like this, like fire, if you will. And it has no specific contained boundaries that we can see in our times in our time scale. Instead, uh, it tends to, you know, exist like you're seeing here. But it, it searches for stability, like a chemical reaction, and it looks to assume a solid form and so you'll have these dark entities which are you know naturally you know kind of like quasi gaseous you know energy state 
you know, seek some sort of physical form for stability. And they love humans, but they'll take anything, ladies and gentlemen. And we do mean anything. You heard about the pigs in the Bible. They are legion, ladies and gentlemen. But these things will latch on to, you know, inanimate objects as well. They'll latch on to rocks. They'll latch on to, you know, trees, forests, and the like. And they'll latch on to machines. You've heard of the ghosts in the machines? Well, they might have uh, been inspired by something else there. All the more reason to beware of this beast system. You don't know what's in control of that. But if you had to guess, it would be, you know, the dark side, ladies and gentlemen. And all of their technology screams cult of death, skull and bones like, you know, on a bottle of poison. And, you know, whether it be the, the fossil fuels or... You know, pick your, you know, pick your industry, the telecommunications industry, you know, with the 5G and the like, it all has the same side effect. It's a cult of, you know, it, 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 it promotes death. And so, you know, truly frightening considering the situation out there. We want to, you know, get back to the big breaking news story. Ladies and gentlemen, the devil appears in the flames down under. People are running for their lives. It looks like hell on earth. They've never seen anything like this before. Why we see this, however, is a difficult question. We perceive fire a certain way, but if we slow it down, we, we can see its true nature. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, it lives in a different time phase. And a different phase of matter, for that matter. And um, we're just trying to... There you go. There you go, video guy. And uh, it's, you know, it would seem that uh, the spirit world is something more like this than the physical world. But as you can see the f in this demonstration, the physical world can have an impact on what's happening in the metaphysical world. And that's why it's important to, you know, do good deeds to, you know, um, you know, give money to the poor, to read the Bible, to, you know, uh, do positive things. It puts out the metaphysical fire. But if the metaphysical fire, you know, begins to rage in a specific area, then you're going to get, you know, violent crimes. You're going to get violent events. You're going to get apocalyptic scenes. And so we should all be trying to put out the metaphysical fire by evangelizing, by quoting the Bible as much as we can out there. But this, you know, negative spiritual energy that takes on various forms, human forms in many instances, seeks a, f a stable physical form. And, you know, we hear quite a bit about this in the Bible. But these spirits will enter in and take over. And it's basically like house cleaning. Ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, a person, you know, without their armor on is like a city without walls. And that's why it's important to, you know, stay within the confines of the Ten Commandments. And what's in the Bible to, you know, follow in their footsteps. It's available in audio 
on the internet. You know, if you just do a search uh, for whichever book in the Bible, KGV, you're going to get uh, a wonderful audio version. Know it by heart. Know it better than your favorite song out there. I can't stress that enough. When you're seeing stuff like this, when you see the glitches in the Matrix, I mean, you want to be in your Bible every day. And sometimes you got to see stuff like this, you know. But you can only walk through that door once you leave doubt behind. If you're still clinging on to doubt, you'll never see anything beyond the television. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid. Believe out there. But these creatures seek a stable form. And uh, that's why they invade whatever they can. Any object that, uh, that will do the job for the time being and you know a second uh, for us is like you know who knows how long for them an hour a day a year but when we can you know slow down fire it looks completely different than at normal speed and at this speed that you're seeing here we get you know more detail we can see more about what it is and this phase of matter this phase of time you know is more like the spirit world than you know what we normally perceive it as and this of course has many implications because you know if these creatures are linked together and you know operate at a much faster speed in ways that we can't just normally see, then we're dealing with a formidable enemy indeed. Trust no one out there. They can all pretty much be an Agent Smith in this matrix, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, there's no telling what's blowing in the air unless there's some kind of medium around you to define it. You know, whether it be leaves blowing in the wind or rain blowing in the wind. You know, you can't see it unless there's something in it. And it's like sound waves. You know, you can't see the sound waves traveling from the speakers to your ears. But they're there. And if you had some kind of sand on some, you know, cardboard or something... You know, you could see the different frequencies. You could see the different sound waves. And it's only with a medium that you'll see, you know, uh, what's blowing in the air around you. And this is what tends to suck people into the dark side. Because since these demons are everywhere, it doesn't take a whole lot for them to invade. And this is the problem with having your, you know, armor off and experimenting with, you know, dark practices. They invade, they take over, it's a disease, and they kill you. And then you go to hell. This is something that you want to avoid, obviously. But it draws people in because now they're starting to see things, you know, in 3D, if you will. They're starting to see things that they, you know, never thought possible before. And they become a medium, a spiritual medium for the dark side. Maybe they can, you know, tell you a fortune. Maybe they can, you know, uh, communicate with, um, you know, the underworld. But you don't want to go in that direction, ladies and gentlemen. In any case, these faces that we see over and over again take a human-like form some more than others we see recurring faces like this face over and over again and um you know it's uh it seems to you know not be random and that should scare the shit out of everybody pardon my language there but this doesn't seem like a random face we see it in uh, the Burgess bombings, and you know, this is something that happened in uh, Bulgaria a few years ago, maybe like 10 years ago. 
but it was all really weird and it targeted people of faith and you know you look at the shirt that he's wearing and you could almost see the little horns and a little devil's tail on this adidas shirt unique like an adidas shirt you know nobody's ever seen before and in the background you got this face of a demon and that's the thing that should really you know just blow everybody away here is that we're not seeing, you know, just like a smiley face. We're not seeing random faces. We're seeing, you know, well-defined human faces or faces that are like the boogeyman. You know, like true demons, true darkness, true evil, wickedness from other places, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, it looks like they take human form. Indeed, they do take human form. Indeed, they do walk amongst with us. Beware out there, ladies and gentlemen. And remember that this is a war. It's a war of good versus evil. And, you know, these evildoers, this cult of death is out to exterminate everyone. And the proof is right there in the eugenics programs. It's right there on the Georgia Guidestones. You see it every time you see the geo geoengineering. You know, it's in your face. And these people are out to get you. All the more reason to, you know, push back against the 5G, to push back against the fluoride, to push back against, you know, this dark side. On every front, don't give them an inch. If they're, you know, pro-death, trying to murder children, pushing Sodom and Gomorrah, you know who these people are. And there's no, you know, there's no middle ground. Everybody's got to stand their ground. Don't compromise. Don't you know be double-minded out there ladies and gentlemen and everything you need to know is right there in the Bible but these people are the worst of the worst and you know it's pretty much all come out and they try to you know basically you know imprison you like Julian Assange or Roger Stone or whatever you know the dark side is completely in charge of the media the government the corporations you know the the game is rigged it's a big club and you're not in it and the reason that it's a big club is because they've all been uh, demon possessed and they can sniff each other out you can't infiltrate unless you've been infected but the infection rate is super high we're talking about you know over 90 percent in the big cities and you know in many countries western countries everybody's gone the whole, you know, the whole society has been assimilated spiritually and they're preparing to jack into the matrix collectively and they'll take everybody out in the process, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a war and it's better to fight back before you end up like these people on Down Under. You're completely surrounded by the flames. You're, you know, getting gassed by this toxic smoke. And, you know, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to go. Nobody can do anything. It's over. You're basically in the gas chamber. It's too late to protest when it becomes like that. And, you know, we're crossing a threshold. This is coming to, you know, a city near you. Either the smoke or the fire. And before long, it'll be no escape. No escaping the death towers. No escaping, you know, the poisons in the food, the air, the water. No escape. That's their plan, the final entrapment. People need to push back. This is the time to push back, ladies and gentlemen, not when it's too late. And, you know, all these people on television, you know, as far as we can see, is, you know, skull and bones. It's the same old song and dance. And these people on television, they're not your friend. They may tell you what you want to hear. They may do, you know, some incredible things every once in a while but these people are not your friend and it's just you know part of the script so be a skeptic out there when it comes to the television because you know this administration is rolling out the 5g and as much as you want to like them and everything you know they haven't done nearly enough when it comes to you know fighting this war for what it is it's no joke and this infection is real and it's just ravaging you know the world right now you don't know what's blowing in the wind you don't know you know what this gas what these fossil fuels really are you don't know what this is 
you think you know because they call it gas. But, you know, this is coming from the underworld. This is, you know, the remnants of previously living materials, fossil fuels. You don't know what's in this gas. You don't know what these people are burning. You don't know what these people are doing to the world. But, you know, if you had to take a guess, it looks, you know, like some pretty bad shit out there, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to like and share. Get this information out there. Feel free to mirror this content. Start a page. Mirror our content wherever you can. Help, help you know, be part of the blockchain out there. Support our broadcast. Help us grow. Check us out at uh, patreon.com forward slash STF news. And uh, check out our website, stfnreport.com. But most of all, check out the Bible. Do your own research and uh, understand that this is the epic struggle of good versus evil. Ladies and gentlemen. And uh, there you go. Until the next time. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. <laughs>